we're talking about NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. What are some of those medications? Well, Advil and Aleve are the name brands. And Advil's ibuprofen, uh, does it, it, can it be dangerous? I thought it was pretty simple. Well, you know, for the most part, they are very safe, but especially in certain patient populations, we have risk of gastrointestinal effects as well as uh, cardiovascular events. So ibuprofen can cause problems with the stomach? It can. Uh, what does it cause? Well, it can cause gastric ulcerations. So that's so, a big concern. Uh, common, <laughs> it's a big concern, common cause of GI bleeding. So if people take ibuprofen or they take Advil, um, they take those mainly for joint pains, like bad knees, bad feet, bad hips. Um, you take it long term, therefore, because the pain doesn't go away. Yeah, that's right. And we know that with these non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, these non, these NSAIDs, the longer you take the medication and the higher dose you take, the higher your risk of having an ulceration in your stomach would be. What would the symptoms be of ulceration in the well, stomach? Hunger pains, um, nausea, um, you have an early sense of just getting full. Um, so, it, and that's a sign. So, if you do have some GI bleeding, uh, that changes the stool color, certain color. Yes, it, uh, it can make your stool black. Yeah, it's uh, melanin. So, if you get black stools and you're not taking iron, you need to really see your doctor quick, especially if you're taking ibuprofen. Now, can ibuprofen cause high blood pressure? It, it can, and, and we think that it causes it because of fluid retention. Um, if you're taking ibuprofen on a regular basis, or really any NSAID, you should be on a low salt diet trying to reduce that fluid load. Uh, I was talking to a cardiologist once and he said, if I see people in my office that have got hypertension, the first thing I ask them is, how much ibuprofen is your ta are you taking? So it can cause kidney problems, causing high blood pressure, and it can cause stomach problems, causing GI problems. Does it bother the heart? Uh, it it can bother the heart, and especially in certain patient populations. So we know that if somebody has established heart disease, that non are probably not the best choice for them. Um, if they're an older age and they have risk factors for heart disease, if they smoke, and we hope they don't, but if they have high blood pressure and high cholesterol, it's maybe there's a better choice. There were some medicines that they took uh, off the market, Vioxx and Bextra, uh, those were non anti-inflammatories associated with heart disease. But now we know ibuprofen and other medicines also. How Aleve and naprazen, uh, the cardiologist told me, has less cardiovascular events. How do they do as far as the stomach goes? Well, that, that's right. So Aleve, we feel like, has less cardiovascular events. And if we're going to have, if we have heart disease and we have to take an NSAID, that's probably the one we want to take. But we also know that it causes a fair amount of gastric ulceration. Perhaps if you have to take that on a regular basis, especially at a higher dose, you should also be on a medication to protect your stomach as well. So what medication will protect your stomach if you're taking Aleve or Naprosyn? So you could take Nexium or Prilosec over the counter. Those would be Seems the most a, common ones. Sort of a proton pump inhibitor cuts down the acid the stomach, protects it from the ibuprofen assault That's on right. the stomach that we <laughs> have there. So we're saying there's no free lunch. We're saying Tylenol, acetaminophen, if you take too much, it can cause liver damage. Ibuprofen can cause stomach problems, um, GI bleeding, as a matter of fact, and also hypertension. Uh, how about simple aspirin? Can aspirin be dangerous? Well, aspirin can be dangerous. And when I was in medical school, they said if aspirin came out as a new drug, it would never be approved. Oh. But Why would it that has be? a lot of potential side effects. And we know that in small doses, aspirin can be very beneficial in preventing heart attacks and strokes. But in large doses, it can cause a lot of ulcers. One out of every three people could have an ulcer if they take high doses. Um, so it's, it's got a fair amount of risk. You know, when I used to play a lot of sports, I would sometimes take too much aspirin. I'd take five aspirins and go out and play. It had potential <laughs> danger, didn't it? That, that's right, especially because the effects of aspirin on the stomach are long-lasting. Those effects can last in the stomach for up to a week, as opposed to Aleve or Advil, which those effects are temporary. You take it, and then the effect goes away after a day. 